Hi guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So before we get started on today's video, I quickly want to mention that new series I talked about a little while ago. The voting is up on my Instagram between these three palettes. So head over to my Instagram if you want to vote for what tutorial I will be doing next week. They are, they are the Lorac Unzipped Sunset palettes. And my Instagram is just my channel name, Echel the Great. So it should be pretty easy to find me. If you forget, I always have my social medias listed in the description box. So today's video is something new. I keep doing new things and it's so fun to do new things. I am going to be doing a lip swatch and review on the latest and lips favorites from Walmart Beauty and it looks like this it has five full-size products in one deluxe sample size and the reason i know it's a deluxe sample size and not a full size is because i have another lip product from that line and it's definitely not the same size so five full-size products and one deluxe sample size for $9.88 and I'm going to show you what they look like on my lips and tell you whether or not you should spend your money on this latest in lips box. So let's go ahead and remove the lipstick that I'm already wearing and it just slides out the side like this and the first product that you get is an e.l.f. lip exfoliator in brown sugar. It smells amazing and I already have a e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I think it's like in cherry tart or something and I really do enjoy it so I'm expecting to like this so let's just get into it. It definitely had a layer on top of the rough texture but it has a rough texture and is very oily and I'll definitely have to use it a couple times before it's as rough as I like it to be but I do feel it exfoliated my lips maybe not as much as they need to be exfoliated but that's because it has that like hard layer on top so I think this is a good product and this retails for three dollars the full size does I think this is worth $3 and that's already a third of the cost of the box. Now I'm not going to put on any chapstick, lip liner, anything. I'm just going to go in with the next product which is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in shade 10 Adorable. Right off the bat, this smells like cake batter. I think maybe it's supposed to smell like cupcakes but to me it's just cake batter which is kind of the same thing. And the doe foot applicator is not as pointy as I like. It's more rounded and flat. So that was very thin and liquidy and it does already feel like it's drying down pretty quickly. But it hasn't dried down fully, it doesn't feel like. So I'm going to give it a few more seconds and then do a kiss test. But I do really like the color. Alright, it feels like it's dried down completely, so I'm going to do a kiss test. No transfer at all once you let it dry down completely. And it does feel slightly drying. It's not completely uncomfortable, but I don't think this would be one I'd reach for very often because it's a little drying on my lips and I don't like drying lipsticks at all. These retail for $9 so that almost pays for the box for this. I would say I'm glad to have this but I wouldn't go out and purchase it on its own had I known how thin and drying the formula is. I prefer a thicker, moussier, more comfortable formula. Next we have an infallible Pro Matte Gloss and I honestly cannot read that shade. If you can read that shade, good for you, but I cannot read that tiny writing. So we're just gonna go in. I have no idea what a matte gloss is, 
but holy cannoli, my doe foot applicator is jacked up. That is jacked up. This will be fun to apply. So I already, right off the bat, like this formula a lot better. It's a lot moosier and it feels more comfortable on the lips. And I do enjoy this color. It's more of a rosy tone, less of a pinky nude. And I prefer rosy tones over pinky nudes. The doe foot applicator is a beautiful shape if it weren't bent all out of whack. I might go out and buy a full size of this. Um, let's see what a full size retails for. So a full size of this retails for $9.99 and a full size is 0.21 ounces. This is 0.1 ounces so I would say it's about half the price. So I'd say it's about $5 worth of product. I think I would pay $5 for this little mini thing. And with the two things that I do like so far, $8 is close to paying for the box. Next is a Maybelline Super State Matte Lip Ink. And this one is in the shade 15 Lover. And this looks like it has a nice pointy applicator, which I appreciate. And it's in a like pinky mauve color. So this does have a sweet scent to it as well. And it's a formula kind of in between the last two. It's not super liquidy, but it's not super moussey either. It's in the middle. And it doesn't look like it's dried down yet. Feels like it's taking quite a while to dry down all the way. So while it dries down, let me see what this retails for. So these retail for $9.49 and that almost pays for the box. And I would say, you know, $9.50 for a liquid lipstick that feels fairly comfortable and feels like once it dries down, it will last a long time. I would probably pay that. I've paid more for liquid lipsticks. So it still feels a little bit tacky, but let's do a kiss test. Yeah, it's definitely not dried yet. So these do take a while to dry down. And <laughs> I got other stuff to swatch, so I wanna keep moving. Um, let's just give it another minute. Still coming off a little bit so maybe it never dries down completely because this has been a long time waiting so I'm just gonna take it off so so far with four out of these six items three of them I would purchase one of them I would not and these more than pay for the box so so far it is worth it next we have the hard candy plumping serum gloss and this is in the shade Sugar Sugar. Does a Marc Jacobs have a shade named Sugar Sugar? This doesn't have very much of a smell. It has a slight smell, like spicy. I don't know, like potpourri. This is a very nude, sheer gloss, very shiny, not super sticky, pretty comfortable. I would say probably like any gloss that comes off pretty easy, but let's see. Oh yeah, came off real easy. And I would most likely wear this as a topper to a darker lipstick, not necessarily on its own. I I'm, I'm don't like how it looks on my pigmented lips but it is a nice lip gloss. I don't know that it's volumizing and plumping, but I do feel that slight tingle, but I don't notice a difference in the size of my lips at all, but I do feel that tingle. This retails for $6 at Walmart. I would definitely pay $6 for this. 
I would say any higher than that, maybe not, but I think $6 is a fair price for something that's just going to be a topper and not wear very long. The last item is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, and this is in the shade 525 Barely Blush. It's a squeezy tube. Doesn't really have a scent that I can tell. No. This is also a very sheer gloss. I would say it's a little more creamy and hydrating than the Hard Candy one and it's a color I would more wear on its own than on top of something. It is a nice blush color with a hint of color and it almost matches my lip color but just adds a little something extra. And this lip gloss retails for $9.99. I have paid more for lip glosses that I like, so I would say $9.99 for something that feels like it's going to last longer and feels more comfortable and hydrating is a decent price and I would pay it. So five out of the six items I would get and they way more than pay for the box. This alone pays for the box because the box is $9.88 and this is $9.99 full retail price. This is $6. This is like $9.50. This is $3. This is $5. I think this latest in lips favorites from Walmart Beauty is a wonderful deal. You get a lot of great products from it. And for me, there is only one dud. And it's just because this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream is more liquidy and drying than I prefer my liquid lipsticks. You might not have the same preferences as me, and you might actually really enjoy this. I hope this review and these swatches were helpful to you when deciding whether or not to spend your money. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!